Are you looking for an internet provider that's different from your basic cable company? Well, today I am comparing AT&T and T-Mobile home internet, and guess what? Neither of them are cable, and I'm gonna help you decide which one of these two is best for you. I'm Sherry Briggs, and you're watching Whistle Out TV. If this video ends up helping you or you want to hear from me some more, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. And we're also active on every major social media platform. Just look for us at Whistle Out. We often do giveaways and dream jobs, and we'd love for you to join us for those. But with that out of the way, let's get to this comparison. So in this video today, I am going to put AT&T and T-Mobile head to head in five categories. After each category that I go over, I'm going to award either T-Mobile or AT&T a gold star. And at the end of the video, the carrier or the internet provider with the most gold stars wins. And then I'm going to help you decide which one of their plans is going to be best for you and your lifestyle. So let's get to it. There is one thing I need to note before we get into this review. I am comparing two different types of internet services here. So AT&T and T-Mobile have two three different types of internets they use, so, or internet technology, internets, I sound like a grandpa. Anyways, T-Mobile is wireless and AT&T runs on DSL and fiber. So that's three different types of internets we're gonna be looking at. Now we're getting into the review with the first category that will help us set the scene here for this video. It is who is gonna get the gold star for the best type of internet. So I'm gonna go through each of these styles one by one, starting with T-Mobile. So T-Mobile is wireless internet, uh, which basically they give you a gateway or a modem router that works the same way as your cell phone does connecting to a signal. So the gateway will connect to your local T-Mobile signal and that will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal through your home and that's how a T-Mobile's home internet works. Now, at and has two types of internet, DSL and fiber. DSL is an OG type of internet. It runs through your phone lines. And fiber is the newest type of internet, and it's the fastest. If you have fiber in your area, I highly recommend fiber over anything else, as it's generally very well-priced, very inexpensive, and you get really incredibly fast speeds. So for category one type of internet, I'm gonna rank them, and then we'll give the gold star. AT&T Fiber wins here. They get the gold star. In second place, coming in hot, is T-Mobile Wireless. In third place, AT&T's DSL. So if you have the choice from between AT&T Fiber or DSL, go with Fiber. And if you don't have AT&T to choose from, go with T-Mobile's Wireless. Now the second category that we're looking at is speed. So let's look at these speeds that T-Mobile and AT&T offer, and let's award a gold star to either of them. So again, let's start with T-Mobile and look at their speeds. With their wireless internet, they used to promise speeds of at least 100 Mbps. Now, since they have launched, that promise has been a little bit walked back. They now say the average customer experiences 25 Mbps download, and then many people experience 100 Mbps download. So, it really depends. You will at least hopefully get 25, but on a good day and or a good month, you'll average 100. Now I have a few friends who have T-Mobile home internet and they get around 200 to 150 Mbps. So it really just depends on your area and how fast your T-Mobile connection is. But that is for T-Mobile. Let's move on to AT&T. AT&T has the two, DSL and fiber. Let's look at DSL. DSL, <laughs> Is dismal. Um, it starts at 10 Mbps and goes up to 100 Mbps. There's a few different plans, a few different speeds to choose from. They're all the same price, but we'll get to that. So you have 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps, similar to T-Mobile. Let's look at fiber. Fiber speeds start at 200 and they go to gigabit speed, so 1000 Mbps. Now, let's rank them, shall we? So at and Fiber again comes in first for the fastest speeds. Then we have really T-Mobile and at and DSL as a tie. So again, though, the gold star does go to at and Fiber here. Now we're moving on to the third category, which is price. We are gonna take a look at how much each of these services cost, again, starting with T-Mobile Wireless. So depending on the week and the month, T-Mobile does offer deals for their home internet wireless um, pricing. So right now you can get T-Mobile home internet for $50 a month. 
That is a deal that's happening, a limited time deal. Generally, it is $60 a month. So you can expect to pay between $50 and $60 a month for 25 to 100 Mbps speeds from T-Mobile wireless home internet. Let's move on to AT&T. AT&T has DSL and fiber. Let's start with DSL. AT&T's DSL plans are all $45 and they range from 10 Mbps download to 100. The 10 plan is the same as the 100 plan, so I would go with the 100 plan, it's 45 bucks. Now let's look at AT&T Fiber. AT&T Fiber plans are the cheapest and the most expensive because there's a few different levels. The cheapest one is $35, then it goes up to $45 and then $65 for gigabit speeds, that is 1000 Mbps or 1 gigabit speed downloads for Fiber. So again, uh, AT&T Fiber wins this. That one definitely comes in first, that gets the gold star. Next up is AT&T DSL. For $45, you get 100 Mbps, and next, coming in last, is T-Mobile Home Wireless for $50 to $60. Um, yeah, unfortunately, T-Mobile's not doing too well in this comparison right now. Currently, AT&T Fiber has won every single category. Let's move on to the next one. This next category I was hoping would be a little bit better. I was hoping it would pull through and I'd be able to give you some great deals. However, this category that I'm naming it is called bundle deals. Can you save money? What can you bundle with these carriers to get the best cell phone, home internet plans around? Unfortunately, T-Mobile doesn't offer any bundling. They say you can put your internet service and cell phone service on the same bill and they're calling that a bundle, but they don't offer you a deal for using T-Mobile for everything, for home internet, for um, your wireless service. So right off the bat, that just disqualifies T-Mobile from this category. AT&T, on the other hand, does have a few bundle deals. However, you can bundle everything except a cell phone plan with home internet. You can bundle home internet, home phone, and entertainment. You can bundle home internet and entertainment, just internet and phone, but you cannot put a bundle deal for like a cell phone plan, which is a real bummer. So out of the fact that T-Mobile is disqualified, AT&T does win this round. They win <laughs> the bundle deals. They, are, they get the gold star here. However, their bundle deals are really expensive and I don't really recommend them, uh, especially if you're looking to bundle like a cell phone plan and an internet plan. You just won't get that with AT&T or T-Mobile. So I have to give a gold star. It's going to AT&T, but I wouldn't really award stars to either of them for this one, but for the purpose of this video, AT&T gets this gold star. Our last category and potentially most important category is availability. What are these coverage maps? What do they look like? What states can you get T-Mobile and AT&T internet in? Well, I'm not gonna list them all out here. There are a ton of states to go over, but the short and long of it is AT&T internet is available in 21 states and I'm listing them out here on screen. You can take a quick look, scan for your state. It's in alphabetical order and T-Mobile doesn't actually tell you where their internet is available, but I dug through a bunch of press releases and found that they are available in at least 30 states. So because T-Mobile is available in more states, we can't find the actual like square mileage of how many zip codes are covered, but we do know that T-Mobile covers 30 states, AT&T covers 21 states. So finally, T-Mobile has won a round here. T-Mobile gets the gold star in this round, uh, which takes us to the review. Let's review what we've gone over so far. AT&T Fiber, or just AT&T, has won four out of the five gold stars for everything but availability, and that is where T-Mobile won. So which should you get? Well, honestly, if you have Fiber available to you, get it. Hands down, 100% get it, it is the best option out there between T-Mobile and the two AT&T plans. Now, if you don't have T-Mobile wireless available, then I would go with next AT&T DSL plans. Those get up to 100 Mbps. And although DSL isn't known for being super fast, it is fairly reliable. It is a wired connection and you can generally trust that over like a wireless connection in terms of speed and reliability. Now, if you don't have AT&T available in your area and you do have T-Mobile available, Go for it. Now this is, this is, it's a tough one because although I'm not sold on wireless internet yet, it is up and coming and it's going to be a big thing in rural areas in the upcoming year. So I am a big fan of it in that regard. However, I have a few friends who've had some bad experiences, but with that being said, 
my my old roommate, my next door neighbor, she didn't want to get Cox internet. It was not reliable for her. It was horrible. She got T-Mobile internet and it has been great. She is getting over 200 Mbps speeds consistently. So if you want to test out T-Mobile internet, go for it. But overall, between these two, I recommend AT&T Fiber. It is the best that you can get between these three options. And I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Stay tuned. I'm going to be comparing other internets, internet providers and all these carriers want to go over Verizon next and compare them against these two. So stay tuned for that. I'm Sherry Riggs. This is Whistle Out TV.